Hey there everybody, this is Daisu with Daisu Plays, and today I am playing Fractured Space. Uh, if you haven't seen Fractured Space before, uh, please do yourself a favor and go play it, because it's awesome. If you like Homeworld, uh, and if you like space games, it's like a cross between like an FPS, a MOBA, and a and Homeworld. So you're a big battle cruiser like sized ship flying around in space, blowing everything up. Um, and unfortunately, I said a lot of this before, but my video broke, so here I am again, trying this one more time. Uh, maybe I'll be lucky and have a better game, though, because my last game <laughs> got curb stomped uh, by Robert and Operator, uh, along with the, their team. Uh, they have a new ship, the Aegis, which is as dirty as I thought it would be, but I kind of like it, so I'm not, I'm not ready to judge it yet. Uh, one of the things about this game that's really fun, it... Uh, regularly uh, is patched, updated, and otherwise developed, and the mods are really responsive to the community, and the, ed uh, and the devs are really responsive to the community, but they're not, you know how devs can sometimes be like too responsive and they'll like nerf something on just like a, a raw reaction from a community, whether or not it's actually, you know, a problem. boy sorry uh so yeah i'm pretty sure we're fighting robert and operator again but anyway uh so the point i was gonna make is that uh indeed the game is very well made it's rebalanced frequently things aren't overbalanced uh there are ships that are kind of bad there are ships that are kind of good uh but right now it's actually been in a really good place for the last little while the phase two of the game just launched uh and that means we're gonna have just a swell time uh Oh, hey, they're not there. Okay. Okay. These are people I recognize, but I actually have a chance again, so this will be fun. Uh, so maybe we really will have a better game. One of the things that happened is this ship and this game, uh, they really changed the way that uh, everything moves. And 10% maneuverability bonuses, changes to the crew, all that kind of stuff. It's going to be weird. Uh, it's going to be a fun time. I'm looking forward to it. So let's just see how this goes. Uh, one of the things I'm noticing is I'm having a little bit of UI lag here. Uh, I can voice the captain's thought. Here, but that'll be fine. So uh, the pleasure of the hunt. I'm ready to find out what this is going to be like flying this ship again. Uh, one of the things I noticed, one of the things that happened that was really unexpected to me was Gamma has been moved up, it seems like, a minute or two. Uh, so now the first Gamma is like really fast. Like your first engagement is pretty much enough to determine who's going to win or lose Gamma. And that perfectly. is a big deal. Uh, it doesn't seem like general speed has been increased. This is about the pace at which the, move, the game moves at. One of the things I should say up front is the game is designed to move kind of slow because you're a big, huge capital ship. And you are. You're a really, really big ship. Um, I've got like 192 pings. Targeting really hurt, so that's gonna be a bit of a bitch. Okay, uh, I need to cut this guy off. Oh, I'm in your ability though. I'll see if the tricks are gonna be a pain. Hello! Jensen reporting. The poke is off. We can be seen. Tactical systems report. That enemy should stop him. Now I recommend firing. Enter now. Explosion go. Did it go? Did I do like no damage? Okay, Target. My uh, target is maybe about like, I 
it hits a little late. I don't know how better to describe it, but like, I aim and there's like just enough UI lag that like, it's a little bit slower than it should be. Normally it's very, it's normally very responsive in this ship, so I'm having a, having a bad time here. Hi, super lifter. Set space, normal conditions. Dump successful. Oh, whoa, whoa, what? Zenja, huh. your dog is <laughs> that jump bonus to my turn rate. What? What is that? Holy cow. Oh, man. So the way this used to work is you'd jump in somewhere and you'd have like a huge wheel around time and it would be really painful. Uh, not so much anymore. Uh, you can just heal around. Uh, it was kind of something that I liked because it made you feel like a big capital ship. Sometimes if you weren't facing the right way before a jump, you really, really had to struggle. Uh, but now, like, look at it. Oh, holy. Almost dead. Engineering for working at the top is working perfectly. They won't be able to retain the best. sit here and be like super salty because he's outscoring me on the other hand of things like i'm where i need to be which is trying to kill the target everyone else is trying to kill and then uh getting killed in the process so there's there's that 
Like the thing that's a little bit tough about this game is you get you share kills, uh, but you can be doing everything you're supposed to be doing to to ensure that the enemy loses, and then like not have any luck. This ship is like not forgiving uh, with high ping uh, at all, uh, and these unknown servers in New York servers I see are just trash. Uh, so, yeah. The thing I don't understand is like, well, you saw. I mean, I'll jump into an area. I'll be where I need to be, focusing on the super lifter or the least dam, the most damaged target, whatever everyone is shooting. Uh, because I'm not going to call the shots when I'm late to the party, right? And uh, no one else, will f it, they'll just like shift targets. There's a lot of target shifting. Uh, things move a lot faster than they used to, which is kind of interesting, even though it's really just a 10% increase in maneuverability. Uh, and yeah, and also, you know, I mean, this is, this is what you get, so. The problem is, you know, even if you were, I mean, when you have this kind of lag with dumb fire weapons and your UI is lagging all over the place, it's really hard to do well, even in this ship. Uh, and this ship is really susceptible to that because it doesn't have any kind of guarded guide weaponry at all. It requires timed, uh, timed attacks. And I think it's harder to use as well because they changed the utility cooldown on my crew. So now I don't remember off the top of my head. Uh, okay. Neat. So they, they changed the utility cooldown so it's not easy for me to remember like exactly what my timing is. And I noticed a couple times when I fired my pulse, I couldn't see the, um, and maybe I was just distracted by all the other stuff that was blowing up, but I couldn't actually see 
uh, my pulse going live. Uh, the one thing that kind of that that has continually bothered me about this ship is getting a three stack is nearly on impossible on any ship that is capable of moving. You have to basically ambush a stationary ship or a slow ship to get a full stack on them because like a moving super lifter, especially now that they have a huge maneuverability ridiculousness, I think it's gonna be preposterous to even fight at this point. But if it's moving forwards and you land an anchor on it, you don't stop it in any way. It'll fly right out of your grav roll, right out of your pulsar. And then you'll have to, and so the only thing to do is to land two anchors on it right off the start, and that might stop it. You should generally catch it when it change of, it's changing directions, which is hard enough as it is. And then you have to land two skill shots in a row just to get it to stay where it needs to be, and then you only get a two stack for the actual damage. So uh, there are some things with the Basilisk I wish it were easier to modify with like the duration of the anchors because they're so, so hard to land in, sequ in sequence to be any use but i don't know i have to, I have to play with this a little bit more anyway um i, I just want to express again my love for this game uh, i i played it for free at first and you absolutely can do that through the entire game there is no pay to play in this game there is only pay to get stuff sooner uh so if you want to rush in and get the ship that you're eyeing do it but there's nothing wrong with the starter ships in fact you saw one of the guys on our team was flying a pioneer it's one of the great ships in the game and it's the one of the first ships you get it's like don't doubt what you have just understand that when you first start this game probably not going to be very good and the skill skill ceiling in this game is super duper high so it's hard to just like jump in and start winning really hard you really have to learn how to play uh and even me i'm at a pretty high level in this game and like i took a break for a little while came back to it after this new patch and i feel lost uh and there's a lot for me to relearn and play and do to be good again so uh yeah uh, play it enjoy it love it it's a fun game uh, come join me if uh, you want. Uh, we'll we'll shoot stuff together. It'll be a blast. I'll teach you the ropes, uh, and I do think this is uh, worth your time, especially since it is free to play, and there is no pay limit. And then there's a high skill ceiling, so if you want to get good, you can. Anyway, take care. Be well. Bye bye.